In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to import 3D meshes. We're then going to learn how to create a mold box for a very basic two part mold. And then we're going to learn how to add registration keys to this mold. So let's get started. We are first going to go to insert, insert mesh, and we are going to select our mesh. Notice that you can bring 3MF, OBJs and SDLs. This happens to be an OBJ. So I'm going to click on open. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to click right here, rotate it until it snaps at 90 degrees. Next, I'm going to make sure that the unit type is set to millimeters. I'm going to center the object. Now it is centered to our scene, but we need to bring it above the ground. So I'm going to click on move to ground. And as you can see, our object is now above the ground. Excellent. I'm going to click OK. And next, we are going to create the mold box. Next, we are going to move this little guy up a little bit so that when we create our mold box, we have some room below this. So let's go to our bodies right here. I'm going to select this object right here, right mouse button, and I'm going to go to move and copy. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it up about 10 millimeters. I'm going to type in 10. I'm going to hit OK, and there you have it. So if we go back to our default view, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to create a sketch. Now I need to select a plane. I'm going to select the ground plane. It's going to take me to my top view. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a two point rectangle. So I'm just going to click anywhere from one point to another point. It really doesn't matter for now. And I'm going to click on finish sketch because I want to show you that if you want to change the size of this box, we can go to our sketches, we can go right mouse button on the sketch one and go to edit sketch. And then what we can do is we can select these points right here. And as long as in the grid and snap sections, we have snap to grid, what we can do is we can change the size of our grid like so by moving it to these points right here. Perfect. So I'm going to eyeball this, make sure that I have the same distance all the way around. I'm going to click on finish sketch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this sketch right here. I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go to extrude. Now when I extrude this right here, as soon as I get to the top of my character, I'm going to add 10 millimeters. So instead of 147, I'm going to type in 157. Perfect. And I'm going to hit OK. And there you have it. If I hover over the character, you'll notice that in all of my views, we can see that this little guy right here is going to fit inside of our mold. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hole so I can pour the plastic inside of the mold. All right, next, we're going to create a funnel at the very top of our mold so that we can pour the material once the mold is made. OK, so I'm going to go to Create Sketch. I'm going to select the top of our object. We're going to zoom in. And I'm going to create a center diameter circle. I'm going to click in the middle. And I'm going to make this pretty big. I'm going to go to 40 millimeters. I'm going to type in 40, hit Enter. I'm going to click on Finish Sketch. I'm going to rotate our camera. And let's zoom in right here. And now I'm going to select the sketch. I'm going to go to Create Extrude. I'm going to push it down until we see the object right there. And for the taper angle, I'm going to type in something like negative 50 degrees. And I'm going to still move this until I can see right there, parts of the object. I'm going to click on OK. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to convert this box right here into a mesh because what we want to do is we want to subtract our object right here from the newly created body. But the problem is that this body right here, it's a solid. So we need to convert it first into a mesh. To convert a solid into a mesh, we're going to have to go to the mesh menu and then we're going to go to create tessellate. We're now going to select the body. We're going to leave everything to the default and I'm going to click on OK. And now the body one, which was our mold box, I'm going to rename this mold box. It's now a mesh. So now we can go to the Boolean operations, which are going to be found under modify, 
combine. So the target body is going to be our mold box. So I'm going to select the target body. Then the selection is going to switch to the tool bodies. So I'm going to select our object. For the operation, I'm going to use cut. That means that I'm going to select the tool body, the object, and remove it from the target body. I'm going to keep that object. I'm going to keep that model. So I'm going to select keep tools. And I'm going to click on OK. Next, I'm going to change my view on the display settings, visual styles. I'm going to go to shaded. And you will notice that you have the mold box and the object. So I'm going to hide the object real quick. And we're going to go to inspect section analysis. I'm going to select this plane right here. And I'm going to flip my selection. And as you can see, as we move, we can notice that the inside of this mold right here is now hollowed with the shape of our object. I'm going to click on OK. And to disable this analysis, we can go to the analysis folder in our browser and we can turn it off or we can turn off multiple analysis if we have. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to split our mold in half. So to split this mold in half, we're going to go to Modify, and we're going to go to Plane Cut. First, select the body. Then it's going to ask you to select a cut plane. And I'm going to select this plane right here. And here's our preview. For type, I'm going to select Split Body. And for Fill Type, I'm going to select Uniform. Let's hit OK. And now you will notice that you have two parts to your mold. We can rename these parts. And we can hide them to see what the interior looks like. Next, we're going to create our registration keys. To create the registration keys, I'm going to go back to the solid menu. I'm going to go to Create, and I'm going to create a sphere. I'm going to select this plane right here because it's the same plane as the object. And if I go to my front view and I click right here with the sphere tool, I'm going to make a sphere that is 12 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 12 and I'm going to hit Enter. Perfect. So now we have this sphere right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it one, two, three times on this side. And then I'm going to duplicate them three times on the opposite side. So to do that, I'm going to select the sphere. I'm going to go to Create, and I'm going to go to Pattern, Rectangular Pattern. It's going to ask me what type of pattern I want to create. I'm going to select Rectangular. Under Objects, I'm going to switch this to Bodies, and I'm going to select our sphere. And then it's going to ask me to select the axis. So I'm going to select this axis here, and then I'll do this axis right here. So once I have this axis selected, I'm going to move this one up. Notice that I have three spheres selected. So I'm not going to worry too much about this one right here. Next, I'm going to go to this opposite side, right about here. It's giving me three spheres. So I'm going to reduce this down to two. And once I'm done, I'm going to hit OK. OK, now that we have our keys, we have to convert them to meshes. You cannot combine solids with meshes. So let's go ahead and select our six keys right here. And we are going to go back to meshes. We're going to go back to Create and back to Tessellate. We're going to leave everything the way it is. And we're going to click on OK. And you will see that now all of those keys were converted to meshes. Next, we're going to combine all of these keys to this half of the mold. And while doing so, we're going to keep tools so that it will duplicate the six spheres so that we can use them for the opposite side. Let's go to Modify. Let's go to Combine. Under Target Body, we're going to select the target body. Under Tool Bodies, we're going to select all of these keys right here. And we're going to do a join operation. That means that it's going to add the sphere to the tool, which means that we're going to combine the spheres with this half of the mold. And we're going to have Keep Tools selected so that it will duplicate the tools. The Tool Bodies are the keys. Let's click on OK. And there you have it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the visibility for the other half. Let's go ahead and rotate this. And we are going to subtract these spheres from this half of the mold. So let's go to Modify. Let's go to Combine. 
And for the target body, we're going to select this half of the mold. And for the tool bodies, we're going to select all six spheres. And in this case, the operation is going to be cut. And I don't want to keep a copy of those spheres, so I'm going to disable Keep Tools. So I'm going to disable Keep Tools. Let's click on OK. And there we have it. Now, if we turn on the visibility of the two halves of the mold in the original mesh, you will see how this mold was created. And there you have it. This is how we create molds using meshes, sketches, converting the sketches to meshes via tessellation, and adding registration keys to our molds.